Hello, it's story box time. Let's see what story is in the box today. Well, 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 what do we have here? It looks like a money bag. It rattles like a money bag. It's full of money. My goodness, what is this story going to be about? Well, it begins with Jesus. Jesus was a teacher, a great teacher. People called him rabbi. And in those days, a rabbi had disciples or pupils or learners, people who followed them. Now, if you wanted to be the disciple of a great rabbi, you would spend a long time getting ready and preparing, learning, studying, a bit like taking a test or an exam. And then you would go to the rabbi and say, can I be one of your students, one of your disciples? And the rabbi would test you with hard questions. And if you answered them well enough, the rabbi would say, okay, you can be my disciple. But if you didn't do very well, the rabbi would say, you're not ready to be my disciple. Go away and do some more hard learning and then come back. But Jesus wasn't like that at all. Instead of waiting for people to come to him, Jesus went out and he found people and asked them, if they would like to be his disciples. He asked Peter and Andrew. They were fishermen, they were brothers. And he said, would you like to be my disciples? He also asked two other brothers called James and John. And he said to them, why don't you be my disciples too? You're good. They were all fishermen. You're good at fishing for fish. Why don't you be my disciples and you can come with me and start fishing for people? Whoa. And then there was Matthew. Now Matthew was a tax collector. He collected lots of money. He was good at collecting taxes for the government. Perhaps Jesus said to him, Matthew, you're good at getting people to pay their taxes to the government. Why don't you be my disciple and follow me? And you could become good at getting people to pay their love to God. There was also James, another James, not a fisherman, but both Matthew and J James were called the sons of Alphaeus. So maybe they were brothers too. There was also Thomas. Now Thomas was called a twin. We don't hear about his twin brother or sister. We don't know who they were. Maybe they were there as well. Jesus seems to like a lot of families, doesn't he? All these brothers and sisters together. And then there was Philip. Now, Philip, he was always encouraging people to come and see Jesus. He was always introducing them to Jesus. Maybe Jesus said, Philip, you're good at bringing people to me. Why don't you be my disciple and you can carry on bringing them to me? There was also Bartholomew. Now, Bartholomew was very good at encouraging people. Perhaps Jesus said, you're a good encourager, Bartholomew. Why don't you come with me and you can help encourage others to be my disciples as well? And then there was Thaddeus and Simon. We don't know much about them at all. But we do know that Simon wanted to fight for justice. Maybe Jesus asked him to fight with love instead of with weapons. And finally, there was Judas Iscariot, the disciple who one day 
betrayed Jesus. These were Jesus' 12 disciples or learners that Jesus called especially to follow him and to spend time with him, to travel with him, to eat with him. And he would always tell them stories and parables and teach them things and encourage them to learn about God for themselves. But they weren't Jesus's only disciples. There were also lots of other disciples as well. We know that there was Jesus's mother Mary and Jesus's brothers and sisters. There were also two other Marys that were Jesus's friends. And there was a Joanna, and there was a Salome. There were lots of other women as well. Women and children, because one day Jesus asked a child, a little child, to stand amongst all his disciples. And he said, if you want to be my disciple, you don't have to be rich, you don't have to be clever, you don't have to be strong or mighty. You just have to be like a little child and just believe in God and trust in God like a child would. And then you can be my disciple. Jesus chose all sorts of people to be his disciples. And then he sent them out to be his apostles. An apostle simply means someone who is sent out. Disciple is about learning and an apostle is about being sent out to do all those things that they learned from Jesus. And then they came back and told him and they said, Jesus, when we went and told people about God, when we prayed for them to be healed, when we invited them to follow you, do you know what? They were healed and they wanted to follow you. And they were so very excited about that. What about you? Because if you would like to follow Jesus, you can. He calls everyone to follow him. You don't have to be especially clever or especially good. You just have to choose to follow him and be one of his disciples. And what would you give him and use? Just like the people Jesus called, they used the things they already had, the talents that God had already given them. And they went out and shared God's love with others. Do you think you could do that? Shall we ask God to help you? Let's hold our hands together and pray. Heavenly Father, help us to be Jesus' disciples and learn from him. And help us to go out and be like him. We pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. Peter and John went to pray. They met a lame man on the way He asked for alms and held out his palms And this is what Peter did say Silver and gold have I none But what I have I give to you In the name of Jesus Christ Of Nazareth rise up and walk he went walking and leaping and praising God Walking and leaping and praising God In the name of Jesus Christ Of Nazareth rise up and walk Peter and John went to pray They met a lame man on the way He asked for alms and help this is what Peter did say, silver and gold have I none, but what I have I give to you in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, rise up and walk.
Nazareth, rise up and walk. He went walking and leaping and praising God. Walking and leaping and praising God in the name of Jesus Christ.